I'm Lou Kaufman. I teach at the University of Illinois at Chicago in the mathematics department. I'm a topologist and I'm interested in rope tricks uh, and I'm going to perform a few right now. Um, this is um, a magician's rope. Um, it looks like an ordinary rope. It's soft, um, quite flexible, um, more flexible than the usual clothesline. Um, but it has some peculiar properties which um, make it particularly amenable to magic tricks. One of those is that I can never tell when I'm going to get a knot. I'll show you what I mean. Let's tie a knot in the rope. There's a nice truffle knot. And as you see, this one worked and it, uh, it's quite stable. There's no way to get rid of this knot very easily, except perhaps by sliding it off the end of the rope, but we don't want to do that. On the other hand, <coughs> Uh, that, that often happens, and yet on the other hand, I will tie a knot in the rope like I'm doing now. And here you see it. Nice knot on this rope. And it just disappears. I don't know what's going on with that. It's a curious thing. Um, knots have a tendency to disappear even right out in broad daylight. For example, I'll tie a trefoil knot on this rope, and then I'll kind of double the weaving up here so that you see a square knot up here with a loop below. Um, and um, that's definitely knotted. Now when I say knotted, I mean you can't get rid of it by pushing it around unless you were to slide it off the end of the rope, which we're not going to do. And I make it even more complicated by doing that. And I make it yet even more complicated by weaving it in there like that. And now we have this nice complicated knot. But I told you this rope is very strange. and it goes away, right in front of your very eyes. There was no sleight of hand there. Um, it's just very strange rope. Um, there are other variants of this uh, particular kind of phenomenon. Let me show you this. Here's a nice eight crossing knot. And you see from, once you can see it, uh, you see how one can form more complex knots from simpler knots. I have here two trefoil knots and they're clasped together right there. This is a very complex knot um, and yet this rope has a peculiar property. I just make it make this knot ever so much more complicated like that and let's see what happens to it. it disappears. So let's do another one. Um, this one uh, I call the snake charming. Uh, you'll see I'm making uh, a bit of a weave here, a pile of coils. And then sending the line all the way through the pile of coils and I have this little basket uh, with the snake coming out of the basket. And we'll try to get the snake to do a dance and rise up out of his basket. And in fact, He's very proud of his knots and manages to produce quite a few of them in the course of the dance. <laughs>